Yo, we'll have given some background information as to how this came about, but could you kind of reiterate as to what exactly has prompted it? It was a discussion that we had about a year ago with uh, Superintendent Samuels and Major Brown from the JDF. Uh, we were here in Montego Bay to do a distribution for 32 schools for the IT program that the Mid-Atlantic chapter has, which is what we call the Share the Wealth uh, Initiative, where we donate IT computer equipment to other schools other than just Cornwall. Uh, in two and a half years, with the support of Sandals Foundation, we've been able to donate to 51 schools in total, uh, close to 600 computers, close to 400 laptops, etc. Uh, but it, during that conversation, we talked about where the skills are. So for instance, the, the skilled jobs or the, the drone operators are primarily based in Kingston. And what we recognized is, so those students on, or these officers or those on the, on the Western side of the island would have to get trained in Kingston. We believe that's kind of a waste of resources. So what we, th what we thought about is, is to give them opportunity to have the training done here as opposed to traveling but also to provide them with students who coming out of high school will be already skilled to operate drones and thus being able to assist them in this regard. So you have a recruit coming in, whether it's going to the JCF, whether they're going to the JDF, whether they're going to the, the fire brigade or even to NEPA, who also utilizes drone operators. And there, obviously there are other areas out there. Uh, but what we'll do is provide them with those that are already skilled, upskilled and ready to go so that when they enter these organizations, they can give them immediate value. But bear in mind, so this, this is a program that's geared towards the students currently. We envision that even some of the JCFs, uh, JDF, or even the fire brigade officers who would need to be trained would not need to go there because since they are already doing the training here, they can simply do it from here. There's no need for them to, to, to go after that. So we believe that will save the government on their budget for travel all these different things and the training that can be done otherwise that is going to be done here. There was a very fun and educating experience. I've learned more about drones and what they can be used for relating to all the careers and stuff. And I hope that later on, I'll be able to use that in the future, only for the good, of course. As a cadet, you know, we're just officers in training. So those who want to be like, you know, soldier, police, my advice is to start when you're in high school, join a cadet force. It really helps you if you want to become like a police or a soldier. And I think this program is like, is a big thing for us, especially for those career. So I think joining this program will really like benefit us. These are drones that they will crash. And that happens even with skilled operators. What we have to kind of understand and develop a budget around is what how quickly do we need to refresh these how quickly do we need to replace a drone how quickly do we need to replace even parts on a drone now there are ways you can mitigate that right you can use you can utilize a 3d printer that you can you can then use to print a propeller and, or a landing gear for a drone those are things those are costs that we are going to look into and try to repair because one of the things we want to do is provide the resource so we don't want the JDF, the JCF, anybody to, come, to have to go dig into more for resources. We're going to try to provide all the resources for the program and even to upskill them beyond that and so that we can move forward. Sandals Foundation has had 15 years of experience and interest in partnering with organizations that somehow can affect or influence the educational landscape. In recent years, particularly the digital divide, in ensuring that our young people have opportunities that are available to the young people everywhere in the world. And this forms a very important part of the partnership with the Cornwall College Old Boys and the drone pilot program. It meets a lot of our targets in the sense of its education, it's bridging the digital divide, it's talking to young people in a space that they are very excited about. And we think that with that excitement will come a passion for learning um, a refinding re of passion and discipline, attendance, all the things that come from the soft skills that this program will influence, which are very, very important for people to learn. 
before they go out into the job market, before they start to act as adults. These are the things that they learn from this program, and that's why we were involved. I'm very happy to be part of it. People ask us all the time about hospitality. Yes, a piece of drone training is part of hospitality. It's about entertainment. It's about building our filmmakers. It's about production and technology of filmmaking and sound. It's also about the environment, and without the environment, our tourism industry does not exist. So it's about Nepal, for example, using drones to look at the coastal landscape, to look at construction, to look at spaces after disaster relief. These things are very important. It's about security and safety. It's about fire, learning about fire. I, I firsthand experienced the fires in the hills of Kingston last week and saw the drone that was used to identify the hotspots with its thermal component. So the more we learn about drones, the more we realize that it is going to be part of the future landscape of learning. And we think that it is really important that our young high schoolers in Jamaica have the experience of that and also everything that comes with the soft skills of being in a program delivered by the people who are from the JDCF, JDF Fire Brigade, who are the disciplined leaders of this country and who better to learn from than them. What is your thought about this drone program that has been launched today? My thought is that it's an amazing program. It can offer a lot of young teens the opportunity to become a part of it, helps them to carve their career path. You've been interested in drone flying from before? Um, no. As I said, um, my career path in the future is to become a colonial chef, but you never know what the future might hold. I might change my mind to join a food program. These are the JCF are the so. You ever thought that maybe they could use a drone to transport one of your food, food items? Well, <laughs> now that you said it, that would be a good idea. Because if I were to have the, if I were to have the fees, to purchase good amount of the drones, I could make delivery more easier for my company.